Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, the graphic design course here in, in Farnham. Um, I'm going to show some student work. Um, I'm going to talk about the structure of the course um, and then talk about career aspirations and the kind of money that you can uh, expect to earn whilst being a, a graphic designer and associated uh, trades. So, so that's going to be my talk today. Um, apologies now, I have two dogs if they start yapping away because we're in lockdown here then uh, please just bear with me. Okay, uh, my voice you can't hear properly. Harrier, can you hear it now? Is that a bit better? Okay, so you can hear me okay, can't you, um, Jamie? Um, yep, the audio is fine from here. Um, yep, you're saying okay. prayer, not, okay, saying better now, so. Okay, yep. great, so um, can I, shall I get started? Yeah, by all means, yeah. Great. Uh, so welcome everybody to um, this presentation for BA on graphic design based in Farnham. Um, I'm just going to start off by showing some student work. Um, this is student work from uh, the last couple of years. Uh, so this is um, some packaging for a new cat food brand. This is milk. Uh, we've got uh, some tasty treats. Uh, Vicky brunch. Uh, this is some packaging designed for uh, an, an Instagram subscription uh, process for uh, makeup. So students can, uh, and, and all sorts of people into fashion, they can get makeup sent directly to their door uh, based on the latest trends on Instagram. It's a packaging called Craze. And I can see, you can see in your eyes here, it makes your eyes go quite swirly. Uh, this is a, an app for, um, for tracking uh, blood sugar levels for uh, people with diabetes. And this is a, a study into how we can improve the life, lives of people with diabetes uh, through technology. This is a published dissertation. Uh, the students do a dissertation as part of the course. It's about 10,000 words, between eight and 10,000 words. Uh, this student decided to publish their dissertation part of their overall project and this was all produced on site using the print facilities that we have here in Farnham. Uh, this is typeface design uh, so one of the students was very interested in, in designing typefaces and he is now a full-time typeface designer uh, for his job trade. So you can see it's very professional work, a lot of high quality lettering there. Uh, this is a digital dissertation. Um, the students are encouraged to use uh, lots of different media. This student decided to do her, her dissertation as an iPad uh, application. So you can see there's lots of work involved in uh, researching the background of each of these subject areas. So this is one of our uh, spaces. Uh, the, this is our, one of our degree shows for the third year uh, graphics course. You can see on the floor, we've got um, all sorts of vinyl graphics. These are all printed and then put on the floor. These are all images uh, made by the students. Can you hear me okay still, Jamie? Yep, Tom, we can hear you fine, yep. Again, this is more of our degree show. So each year our students present their work. Uh, we invite industry in and we get feedback and a lot of students have interviews at the degree show every year. Uh, to try and get jobs and that kind of thing. Uh, 
Uh, we have a, uh, another exhibition here. Um, this, this exhibition uh, is on our main gallery space. Uh, you've got all sorts of uh, work on the walls there and uh, it's all in a, a great big kind of show space. You've got projections on the walls. Uh, this student was really interested in uh, paper sculpture. Uh, she blogged a lot of her work as she was producing it for her final major project. And uh, this, this uh, project was uh, basically put together uh, for uh, her final major project uh, to present jewellery. And uh, the great thing about this is, is that a design company uh, saw the work that she did and then uh, commissioned her to do some work for Selfridges in London. Uh, this is another exhibition in our main gallery space coming into the uh, University for Creative Arts at Farnham. And the uh, exhibition was called Triangle Square Circle, painted on the walls there. And as at Christmas, you can see the snowflakes on the windows at the front. So this exhibition was first and second year work um, it was a work in progress exhibition and it enabled students to present their work and then get feedback on where they were, what they were doing, uh, to invite industry in to give them feedback as well. So throughout the course, uh, we really encourage students to work on different ways of looking at the way you design, the way you think about things. This is one of the uh, brainstorming things we do, which is like a, a, a great big tree that evolves, looking at the project, seeing what kind of things we should be doing, and then developing them. Uh, so sketchbooks, uh, we use sketchbooks throughout the course. Um, so this is um, first year sketchbooks now. So you can see a real variety of sketchbooks. This one's particularly full and messy, but this is a real kind of central point for the students where they document all their work and their thinking. So throughout the course, um, all our students have the opportunity to debate why we should be doing projects, who they're for. Um, so we do a lot of kind of uh, crits and debate with the students. We do lots of fun little silly projects. So this is a half day project. We made um, robots out of, oh, no. You know, make robots out of toothbrushes and motors. And uh, often we get our best ideas when we're not thinking about the projects that we're doing, but doing other things. So you can imagine uh, for some people actually getting their best ideas, you go out and have a run, or you might go to the gym, or you might, might go and have a, a burger somewhere. And so what we're trying to do is introduce new things, fun things to do in the, in the studios to kind of take students away from just thinking about the day to day. So by the end of first year, uh, we call all our students graphic designers. Um, you will be able to achieve work of this quality. Um, and these are some examples of student work from the first year uh, after being with us for approximately 14 weeks. Uh, this is typeface design here. So um, we really actively encourage students to work in their mother tongue. So we have uh, students from all over the world. So we have students from Iran. Uh, we have students from Taiwan, from China, from Japan, uh, from Sweden, from London, from America. So we have a, a really big international uh, cohort of students. And we really encourage students to work in their mother tongue as well as uh, in English. And also it's a great opportunity having all these different students uh, from different countries. It's a free holiday, it's somewhere free to go and stay as you make friends of all your different classmates. So this is a, an IT crit. This is some of the work that students presented. Uh, we do um, IT as part of the course in the first year. So we use Illustrator, InDesign and Photoshop uh, predominantly in the first year and uh, so this is just a, a quick crit 
of uh, where the students have got to with their work. So we actively encourage our students to do exhibitions. Uh, this is first years uh, putting together an exhibition of their work. At the end of the year, they invited people in. Uh, they got industry to talk to. They had a, a couple of uh, drinks together and celebrated the end of their year. Uh, so we've got lots of uh, famous alumni from UCA. Uh, things like Tracy, M people like Tracy Emin and Karen Millen, uh, Zara Rhodes, uh, Dick Powell, Martin Lambinan, he's a very famous uh, graphic designer in the UK. Rupert the Bear was jumped up by people that went to UCA. Where's Wally? Uh, Peppa Pig. And uh, Alexander the Meerkat, I don't think you have outside of the UK, but uh, he's quite a well-known uh, advertising character in, in the UK. So we have three graphic design courses at uh, the University for the Creative Arts. Uh, we have one in Farnham, uh, one at Epsom and one in Canterbury. If you're most interested in um, being a graphic designer and working for brands and uh, really being a commercial designer, then the, the, the best um, course for you is the one in um, in Farnham. Sorry, I've got a problem with my screen all of a sudden. Uh, the one, the course in um, Epsom is very much about academic debates. Uh, it's about writing essays, it's thinking about sustainability. And the one in Canterbury is very much about looking at graphic design as kind of a fine art practice. And they do sort of animation, different things as part of that course. So our heritage. Um, Farnham Art School has been around for 150 years plus and the graphic design course here at Farnham has been going for 20 years. So it's, it's 20, over 20 years, so it's a really established course. Um, you have lots and lots of different courses in the UK from graphic communication to visual communication. Essentially they are all graphic design courses and uh, it's really important to understand that our course is, is very much about commercial design okay i've just had a, uh, a question here from sohil does graphic design program come with 3d modeling courses no we don't do 3d modeling um, we do after effects and that kind of thing and a bit of cinema 4d uh, but we don't necessarily do 3d modeling 3d modeling would be much more uh, computer games or uh, digital screen arts for that so uh, we have approximately a thousand uh, graduates uh, 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 that have graduated from UCA Farnham. Um, so ranging from uh, typographic designers, brand designers, right the way through to um, production designers and producers. Uh, so if you go up to any agency up in London, you'll meet someone from UCA uh, or you'll, you'll meet someone that knows someone that studied at, at UCA with graphic design. Uh, we've won approximately 10 awards in the last couple of years, uh, ranging from uh, DNAD, which is an international competition, uh, right the way through to YCN, which is a young uh, designers network in the UK. So here's a couple of examples. This student in particular, um, they entered DNAD. This is actually, um, oh, if I just come out of here, I can just um, I can just zoom in for you. This is actually hand cut with a scalpel. Um, and uh, this is made out of paper, all by hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into here. Oh. So um, what are the requirements to, to apply for graphic design? I'll go onto that in a little while, uh, Peria. Okay, so uh, this is a student, she won her category for uh, packaging design uh, for uh, children's packaging. So why UCA Farnham? Uh, UCA Farnham is very much a campus experience. Uh, we have a real diverse range of expertise and courses. Uh, we have lots of different specialist resources, so things like 
3D printing, laser cutting, photography, uh, green screen rooms, all sorts of different things. Uh, we're very close to Gatwick and Heathrow, our two main um, airports in the UK, about an hour, 45 minutes from both. And our big thing really at UCA is about making community and creating networks for your future. So you'll meet and live with graphic designers, illustrators, lots and lots of different people with different skill sets. And we're nice and close to London. It's, we're about 50 minutes to central London. So why graphic design at Farnham? Uh, we're very much about you and about setting up the course for you and thinking about what you would like to learn. Uh, we have dedicated studio spaces just for graphic design students. Uh, we're very much business focused. So our course is all about getting a job, getting you into work and working with industry. And we have a range of specialist tutors. So uh, my background's branding uh, and lots of my staff have got a commercial background and work in the commercial sector. So we have a proven track record of getting students into work and working for some really fantastic agencies. Uh, so why should you do a creative degree? So from my perspective, um, I've worked as a designer and, and now I'm a, an educator and a, a leader in this area. So this is my kind of perspective on, on being a, a graphic designer and, and why you should do one. Okay, so it's an ever-changing industry. Um, graphic designers at the center of all sorts of different things. So from uh, the design of interfaces for computer games, through to mobile phone development, uh, to advertising on billboards. So graphic design is at the center of all these things. Uh, you have the opportunity to travel and meet people. So being a graphic designer, you can work anywhere in the world. I've, I've done quite a lot of work in the Middle East around Dubai and Bahrain and Qatar. And uh, you know, it's really fantastic opportunity to, to get to travel. Um, job satisfaction, seeing your work out there, seeing people uh, use your products or, or uh, interact with the things that you've designed is a really, really fantastic thing. And you learn also transferable skills um, that you can take to other parts of the industry. I think the big thing for a lot of students is, well, how much money can I earn being a graphic designer? So I've got some statistics here for you. So graduate designers can earn up to £22,000 a year within six months. Within 40 months, up to £28,000. And digital design directors, uh, up to £65,000. I've seen uh, jobs recently for up to £90,000 for the digital sector, uh, specifically in UI and UX design, which is something that we're beginning to specialise in here at UCA Farnham. So our average starting salary is approximately £19,000. And 88% of our students are in a job within the first six months of leaving. So our job really is to help uh, you uh, and us build bridges for your future to really think about where you would like to go. So. How, how, do we, how do we get there? Um, we, we collaborate with people, we collaborate with businesses. So uh, we work with Farnborough Air Show, which is one of the biggest uh, air shows in, in, the, in Europe. Uh, we've done some projects with them. Uh, in the past, we've worked with uh, JDO, which is a design company on a competition for a festival called Festival. And we work with Crush Creative, uh, one of their, the owner of Crush Creative comes in and, and works with our students and gives feedback. So that's just an example of the kind of things that we do. So our alumni, uh, students that have, have studied with us and then gone on to do other things. Uh, one of our most famous alumni is Malika Favre. Uh, she's an artist, designer and illustrator. She's got a very unique style. She's worked for all sorts of huge Clients, as you can see on the, the list here, people like Vogue, Penguin Books, the BAFTAs. So you can see her style here, very, very beautiful, very, very graphic. Um, Phil Stewart is one of our graduates as well. He runs uh, 
a creative uh, interactive agency that focuses on computer games and gaming experiences. He runs a company called Preloaded. Uh, Richard Lyons, um, he is a designer for Apple in California. He worked under Johnny Ive's team before Johnny Ive uh, left Apple. And then previous to that, he worked at a design studio that were responsible for the Airbnb uh, rebrand. And he uh, worked on this rebrand as part of the design team. Uh, we also have Jasmine Rees. Uh, she was nominated for Young Designer of the Year a couple of years ago. So she's worked on some really uh, uh, well-known home brands, things like Lynx, um, Deodorant, uh, Carlsberg, Expert Packaging, even Polos. And these are all sort of big brands in the UK. And then finally, Chris Cox, uh, he's lead artist at a studio called All of Us Game Studios. Uh, some of you may know uh, All of Us Game Studios by the game uh, Monument Valley, which is a, a very kind of popular uh, game out in, the, uh, out in China specifically. So he didn't design that, but he's part of that, that, that team. So um, we have students from all over the world working on all sorts of different interesting things with all sorts of different companies, people like Harrods, uh, Yahoo, uh, Apple, lots and lots of different companies and lots and lots of different uh, places. So our course structure, I'll come on to your requirements soon, Paria. Um, so uh, our course structure is very much like a triangle. You start at the beginning, which is very, very broad. And then as you go through the course, you begin to refine uh, what you do and how you do it. Uh, so our course content. So year one is looking at the principles of design. Uh, we look at all the software and we set you up on uh, how to use all the software and, and to be a graphic designer in the first year. And we do workshops. In the second year, uh, we do what we call electives and specialisms. So we look at different areas within the design industry and uh, students begin to pick and choose and match and see which areas they like doing. Also enter competitions. And then we have work experience over the summer, which is up to three months. And then year three, we do live briefs. Uh, and then our final major project where students really begin to specialize in uh, the area that they really want to go into in the design industry. So we cover theory, principles and practice on the course. Uh, we have 100% student satisfaction. So what subjects do we cover? We cover editorial design and publishing, UI and UX design, information design and branding, packaging design, art direction, and I put etc on there. We have some students that do 3D modeling. We do have students that do CGI. We have some students that do photography, some students that do more illustrative work. But at the center of it is, is always communication through graphic design means. Uh, some of the resources that we use, things like book binding, uh, After Effects, 3D printing equipment, uh, screen printing. So there's lots of different uh, resources available to the students. So our modes of delivery, uh, we do one-to-one -one tutorials, seminar groups, workshops, and then lectures. So uh, on to the questions I'm going to go through now. So what do you need in your portfolio if you, if you apply to us? So what we want to see is breadth of work. Uh, we want to see uh, sketching, uh, photography. We want to see an interest in graphic design. Uh, we want to see final outcomes. Um, but the main thing is a really good portfolio. Uh, we also need uh, IELTS 5.5 or higher as well. And we do do pre-sessional courses as part of the uh, entry as well. Uh, should you do a foundation course or not? So we offer an international foundation course here at UCA Farnham. It's one year. And then from that, you will then be offered uh, to come on to the graphic design degree straight from the foundation without actually having to go through another interview. And we call that the D to D uh, process, which is diploma to degree. 
Okay, so our contact time is two days a week in the studio and then one day a week uh, doing critical studies. So the other two days that you're in the studios, uh, you can be getting on with work, uh, you can be doing your food shopping, your washing, all those kind of things uh, outside of the, the three days contact. So what kind of students are we looking for and uh, what requirements are there for applying for graphic design? Uh, the main requirement we have is that you have a really good strong portfolio, uh, you have a breadth of work. We don't necessarily want to see amazing computer skills. You can be really, really good at drawing and that would be enough. Uh, but I'd suggest a minimum of maybe between 15 and 20 pieces of work if you're uploading a PDF uh, to our portal. Um, and the type of students we're looking for, we're after motivated students because if you have a, a room full of motivated students, you all push each other to get better, to really enjoy working together and also to improve the standard across the board. Um, I don't know if any of you use Instagram, um, but if you'd like to follow the graphic design course here in Farnham, our Instagram is at GD farnham.uca uh, maybe uh, jamie you can ping that on the uh on the chat there for, for them to look, click on sure, and, and uh it's an opportunity for, for for you to kind of see a little bit about the course culture so so that's the end of my presentation and and now we can go into uh a time for questions uh if you like jamie yeah sounds good tom thank you for that presentation so well done guys, if you have any um, questions you'd like to ask to Tom, you can pop them in the Q&A just now. We've got some time to discuss them. Uh, while you're writing those up, I will just add uh, a link in the chat. If you are interested uh, in studying at UCA, uh, you can fill out the form on our website and that will give you some more info. Uh, I've also put your Instagram. Um, right, I'm just well. going to ping uh, the link on there now as well. There you go. So, um, in fact, what I might do, Jamie, is just share my screen and talk people through this. Sure. If I may. Yeah, of course. Okay, where are we? Getting lost in menus. Mm. Uh, share screen. Okay. There we go. Right. Uh, so you can see, you can see here, uh, we have our kind of day-to-day -day, uh, different things that people post up. Um, so we post up funny things like here. Uh, so we've got recording studio. This is one. Of, this is one of the notices on the recording studio. We are recording screens. Please don't call the police. Cheers. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, we've got uh, calligraphy here. Uh, this is some alumni that were coming back to visit our students and talk to our students about their experiences. Uh, this photo here, this is the head of ITV, which is the of, of design for ITV Morning. Uh, ITV is a very big TV channel in the UK, uh, one of the top sort of four TV channels. And she came and spoke to our students and talked to them about the portfolios. Uh, here we have here. This is a workshop I did in in, uh, in Tokyo, in Japan, uh, doing a calligraphy workshop with the students. Uh, this is a electronics, a physical computing uh, yeah. workshop. Yeah. Brilliant. So lots of lots of fun stuff here. Uh, we work with lots of different companies. Um, so do feel free. This is a calligraphy workshop, a Chinese calligraphy workshop we did. So do feel free to go through here and have a good look and follow us. We won't follow you back. Uh, and so you can kind of see a good uh, understanding of what it's like being at UCA. Can you please talk to us about tuition fees and scholarship, if there are any, at least for the first year till we enter job? So uh, we do offer uh, scholarships um, based on portfolio. So that's the first thing. Uh, tuition fees. Jamie, do you have the information there for you for that? Um, I can take a quick look at that on uh, the website. Yep, Tom, one second. Okay. So Sohil, um, yeah, the, the scholarships are really, really based on how good your, um, 
how good your portfolio is and it's about it's, it's really about supporting excellence so if you're really fantastic and you've got a great portfolio then um, then they have the opportunity to apply for the scholarship and and the staff members uh, would do that as part of the process um, I have just put a link uh, to the UCA website with info on scholarships and financial support. So uh, if you do want to get more detailed information, you can check it out. Thank you. Cool. Is, is there any more questions, anyone? Um, I think we are good, Tom. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, guys, for, for joining us. Uh, Sohail said uh, he has now started uh, following. Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Sohail. There you go. And yeah, uh, big thanks, Tom, for presenting today. Okay. Thanks so much, Jamie. And thank you to everyone that have uh, listened to me. And uh, do feel free uh, to get in touch with me um, via the UCA website if you have any further questions or need advice on your applications. Hmm. Okay. Thanks very much, Tom. Uh, Thanks very much, everyone. Yep. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye for now.